okay so we have come across a long way we have uh, covered up most of the admin part and uh, i hope now you are pretty much confident on the admin correct um in this video we're going to talk about the most important part in your admin career which is reporting most of the business they invest they pay they spend a lot of money on sales force just for many reason but the main reason for it is sales force provide out of the box reporting tool as well if you see other um, crm system right um, crm is basically what it just a database which hold your business data and definitely as a business user as a ceo of the company or marketing head sales head you definitely not going to go in and dig into every object to check the data what you need is a report the report should talk about the data suppose business wants to take a decision how was my last financial quarter are we really progressing or our performance is better or not good or whatever it is you need a data to um, judge that particular thing report help you to fetch the data from different different object the important data that customer wants to see only that data the report will fetch from different different objects so we as an admin create report just to make sure the report contains the meaningful data and business can look into the report and take a proper decision see salesforce is all about database and and it just takes um all kind of data all kind of business activities information inside salesforce and the reason why people store the data inside salesforce is just to make sure they get to see the data whenever they need so that they can take a right decision so i have done um a campaign last year i want to take uh, i want to redo the campaign Be before that i have to see right how many lead that has been generated and so and so what was the response of that campaign how do you get the data is through report object is something which will which will hold the data that's fine but report is something which will filter the data and show it so let's say um, i mean recently i was helping another customer who had uh, so many support executives i mean those executives now who is to talk to the customers and uh, resolve customer queries and business said that every single morning my executive should be able to see should be able to go to the home tab you know this home tab and they would be able to see the cases that they have to close today the cases that they have closed yesterday and the pending cases for this particular week so now the case object is loaded with like many case data and there are like 500 um, the executives every single executive when they log into the system they will go to the home tab and that home tab there will be a report which will show okay hey rajesh these are the cases that you have closed yesterday these are the cases that you have to close today these are the cases that you have to close in this week it gives me a clear idea when let's say somebody named alex logs in alex will be able, will be able to see uh, his own data when somebody named jason logs in jason will be able to see his own data that's called report a report is something which will fetch the data fetch the correct data and based on the logged in user right it will just show you the data okay now uh, let's take an example um and then we let's create a report uh, and and I'm going I'm going to explain you how to create a report and how to read a report i mean uh, being an admin it's very important for you to understand how the report looks like because if you are confused with the uh, screen if you are not confident like what is what in that screen in the reporting screen then definitely your customer will be confused so we have to make sure as an admin we are pretty much aligned we are pretty much uh, clear on every single thing that we see in the report screen report is not an object it's a tab okay but don't think that is an object or not okay it is not an object click on the report tab first thing that you get to see here in the report tab is the folders okay there's a big meaning of the folders okay you as an admin what is your job your job you are the technical person so your job would be to create the reports for whom 
for the business user you are not creating the report for your uh, um, for yourself you are just creating the reports for your business user so that the business user can come and see the reports now let me open a notepad and explain this let's say you have different types of business user you have like hr people who logs in every day you have executives who logs in every day you have managers and you have the company ceo and uh, the stakeholders and everybody right all these people the everyday logs in they checks the data do you think that the hr will be able to see the same report that the manager that the ceo can see definitely not the executive the support executive whose job is just to you know um, resolve the customer concern do you think he will be able to see the, see the same report that the ceo can see definitely not so a report is something which should be applicable for the for the logged in user logged in user would be able to see only her or his related data related reports so hr can see all the hr related report executives can see he is like uh, today's cases to solved yesterday's cases that has been solved or um, this week cases that he has to resolve manager will be able to see the performance of is a uh, subordinates like let's say he has 10 executives reporting to the same manager the manager would be able to see okay my 10 executives these are the performance rajesh is on 5 out of 10 alex is on 10 out of 10 jason is one is on 9 out of 10 so everybody will have a different set of reports got it now these are the business users you are the admin you are the creator you are creating a report for this business user so that they can see it and they can take a right decision okay now in this report folder plays a big role not everybody will be able to access all the different types of data uh, reports let's say being an hr hr will be able to see a report that is been created on top of the object called employee there's an object called employee and there are suppose uh, 10 report has been created employee performance employee leaves employee um so and so there are 10 report has been created on top of employee object and hr would be able to see only those report that's it there are again 10 reports created on the case object where uh, which would be able to which the executives will be able to access there are again 10 objects created on the sales data like lead opportunity account which the manager will be able to see and there are again hundreds of report created on multiple objects which ceo will be able to see got it so you as an admin as a creator of the report you have to generate the report okay and you have to hold it in a proper folder see you have to create the report hold it in a proper folder so that you can give access of that folder to the particular users as i said everybody will not have access to every single reports okay so you cannot share you as an admin cannot share single report to a single user you have to create a folder right click on this new folder and create a new folder and then hold the data hold the report in that folder and share that folder with a particular users maybe one user maybe multiple users or so and so report folders plays a big role right so report will be created will be put into a particular folder and the folders will be shared with the hrs whoever is the manager whoever is the ceo and so and so so that when the hr logs in hr will not be able to see all the folders hr will be able to see only the uh, employee reports folder when the manager logs in managers will be able to see uh, employees um, performance folder when the executives logs in executive will be able to see a folder called um, my performance and in that my performance folder there are suppose five reports and when the ceo logs in ceo will be able to see uh, maybe two three folders right and each folder contains few reports you get it right so there would be i mean uh, for a real time project if i say there will be like many reports hundreds of reports okay not every report will be accessed by everyone it should be organized right so based on the logged in user 
what you have to do as an admin is you first have to create the report make sure you you store the report in a proper folder and share the folder with the proper users so that the uh, users should have access to the needed reports only see report contains lot of sensitive data you have to be very much careful when you give access to a particular report to somebody right because uh, i i was just again uh, one of the example that i would like to give you uh, which i just had come across the business don't want to show the sales revenue data to the other sales executive what does it mean is they had like uh, in india right they had the business and they had two groups north indian sales team south indian sales team north indian um, sales people like the managers and all will not be able to see the south indian specific reports the reporting part in salesforce is pretty much structured we as an admin has a lot of authority to do a small like micro level reporting as well for the business user okay so uh, we're going to learn about all these reports uh, it's a big chapter by the way and uh, I'm, I'm and it's a bit complex uh, screen that you'll get to see i'm going to try my level best to make you understand um, about each and every element that you'll get to see in the screen with a real time example okay so this is just an uh, introduction of what is report in the next video we'll start the uh, you know how to build a report okay so see you in the next video